The People's Liberation Army is expected to show off more new weapons and conduct bigger military exercises targeting Taiwan as Beijing gears up for continued intimidation of the island, military analysts and an insider said. The PLA's Eastern Theater Command, the key fighting unit responsible for Taiwan contingencies, on Tuesday declared a joint combat readiness patrol aimed at Taiwan for the first time, a few hours after several United States lawmakers made an unannounced visit to Taipei. The tour was seen by Beijing as a move towards Taiwan independence, said a military insider, who requested anonymity. The mainland has come up with some military activities specifically targeting the island's separatist forces, which will be moved up step by step. The source said one plan was deploying weapons not previously used around Taiwan. For example, the J-20 stealth fighter jet has been deployed to the Eastern Theater Command. The PLA sent almost all its aircraft to conduct routine patrols near Taiwan, except the most advanced J-20 they said. However, the aircraft have been monitoring the island quietly for a while. Self-ruled Taiwan is viewed by Beijing as a breakaway province, to be brought into its fold by force if necessary. On June 28, mainland state broadcaster China Central Television, or CCTV, reported that Wang Hai Flight Group, an elite aviation brigade under the Eastern Theater Command, had conducted patrols near the Diaoyu Islands, which Japan calls the Senkaku Islands, and routine operations in China's Air Defense Identification Zone, or ADIZ, in the East China Sea. Wang Hai Flight Group originated from the Air Force units of the People's Volunteer Army during the 1950-53 Korean War. The J-20 has joined the group since 2019, making it the first PLA squadron with the country's most advanced stealth warplane. Since then, the J-20s have been patrolling near Diaoyu Island, which is just 200 kilometers, or 124 miles, from Taipei, the insider said. The aircraft would just need to fly for a few minutes to reach Taiwan if separatist forces on the island attempted to accelerate moves for Taiwan independence. The PLA stepped up island encirclement patrols by sending more than 200 flights into the southwest of Taiwan's Adiz in the first week of October. Aircraft sorties have increased since Tsai Ing-wen from the independence-leaning Democratic Progressive Party was elected as the self-ruled island's president in 2016. Japan found that the PLA also deployed Y-9 anti-submarine warfare aircraft as well as Type 052D guided missile destroyers and Type 054 frigates to sail through the Miyako Strait, between Taiwan and Okinawa, to Taiwan's east coast for a naval drill late last month. The Y-9 aircraft hinted that the PLA had started anti-submarine training near Taiwan's east coast, deep water that is suitable for sub-operations, said Lu Li Shi a former instructor at Taiwan's Naval Academy. Based on its recent naval and air force activities, the PLA has prepared comprehensive, rapid island seizure tactics involving different forces, meaning their joint combat readiness patrols are already in the pipeline. Liu said the PLA had seized an opportunity to map out underwater terrain before Taiwan delivers its domestically developed submarines and other warships. CCTV reports and the island's latest national defense report showed the PLA had ramped up force-on-force -force confrontation drills, joint landing exercises, and other visible and invisible means to put pressure on Taiwan. Last week, CCTV reported that the Eastern Theater Command's rocket force had conducted live-fire drills off its YJ-62A medium-range sea-skimming cruise missiles along the mainland coast in Fujian province, facing Taiwan and less than 200 kilometers away. With a range of 400 kilometers, YJ-62 cruise missiles can be launched from air, land or sea, and could reach all parts of Taiwan, according to the latest Chinese defense analysis report published by the Pentagon. Liu said the missiles were the PLA's answer to Taiwan's future truck-mounted harpoon missile system, acquired through one of the U.S. arms sale deals with the island to help bolster its coastal defenses. More new and advanced PLA weapon systems and intensive drills are expected with U.S. President Joe Biden set to further enhance ties with Taipei, the insider said. Beijing understands military intimidation is not the best approach given the Taiwan issue is a political problem, but the PLA should make Taiwanese aware of the huge cost of following a small independence-leaning group, the insider added. Tsai was last year re-elected the island's president with a landslide victory. 
Andrew Yang Nianzu, a former Taiwanese defense minister, said Taiwan's people had come to expect Beijing to use military means to pressure the island. Beijing understands military intimidation is not the best approach given the Taiwan issue is a political problem, but the PLA should make Taiwanese aware of the huge cost of following a small independence-leaning group, the insider added. Tsai was last year re-elected the island's president with a landslide victory. Andrew Yang Nianzu, a former Taiwanese defense minister, said Taiwan's people had come to expect Beijing to use military means to pressure the island. Beijing won't achieve its desired result, because almost all Taiwanese are fed up with those forms of intimidation, he said. The chance of cross-strait conflict is still very slim, because the Taiwanese military has always been restrained, not making any provocative moves when countering the PLA's incursions.